Hello everyone, I'm Simon Wilson and welcome back to Lytham Golf. It's been a little bit of a while since my last video. I've got a little bit of gear here today to, to look at from Ping, their new driver, the G425. Um, I just hope that you're all doing well at the moment. We're in lockdown three in the UK and um, I think we're about three or four weeks into it at the moment. Hopefully we'll be back playing golf soon and I'm hoping you're all ready and raring to go. We'll hopefully have a nice season coming up. We've got a new handicap system involved here. Um, it's going to be a, a bit of a learning curve for everyone, including myself. So uh, hopefully we're going to have some fun. So let's have a look at these new clubs from Pink, shall we? So I've got the three new models here from Ping. I've got the G425 Max, which is their standard head. This comes in three lofts. This comes in nine degrees, 10 and a half degrees, and a 12 degree loft. I've got the LST, which is the low spinning club they have. This comes in two lofts, nine degree and 10 and a half degree. And then I've got the SFT, which is the straight flight technology driver, this only comes in 10 and a half degrees. So these three clubs are all designed to do something slightly different. So we've got the G425 Max, it's a 460cc driver. You'll notice when you look at the G425 driver that it looks pretty similar to the previous model. They've reduced the amount of patterns on the, on the top of the club. The turbulators are still there which is there for aerodynamics. We've got the weight on the back that is movable. You'll notice that it is slightly different from the G410 model. The, the distance that the weights will move is slightly less, but the tungsten weight is a little bit heavier though this time around. So with the previous G410, the weight was 16 grams. Now we're looking at a 26 gram weight that is movable. This allows you to move it a smaller distance, but give you the same effect that you would have with the previous model but keep the forgiveness of the club that is designed to do. So they're saying that with this new weight and the fact that you're moving it less of a distance from, from the center that it is more forgiving than the previous model by 7% in the neutral position, 20% in the draw position and 16% more efficient than the previous model in the fade position. So because you're not moving that weight as far, it's, it's, they're able to, to keep that moment of inertia high and keep the club forgiving. With the new G425, they totally redesigned the head. They've moved the weight further back and slightly lower than the previous model. Every model, they are slightly tweaking it to, to give you those small improvements. And over time, you're going to get a much, much better performing club. So with them moving the weight lower down and further back, They've been able to increase the moment of inertia of the club head, make it more forgiving and give you the launch conditions and um, spin rates that are optimal for this club. So you've still got the eight low sleeve in the G425 driver. This allows you to move the loft one and a half degrees either way, gives you new more loft or less loft, depending on what you're, you're wanting to achieve. So now we've got the LST driver in my hand here. The uh, driver is slightly smaller than the, the Max. We're looking at 445cc rather than 460. It's a slightly more pear-shaped head. And you've still got the same turbulators in here and the weight in the back. The weight is slightly less heavy than the, um, the G4 Max. I think we're looking at 16 grams for this. So we're not trying to move the weight too much. You've got that option to give you a slight bit of draw biased or, or fade biased, depending on what you want. But the aim for this club is really to reduce the spin rate that you're getting from, from hitting normal shots. So they're saying that with this club, you're getting 200 RPM less than the previous LST model. Compared to the Max driver, you're gonna get around 500 to 700 RPM spin less than that club. So potentially more distance if you're that player who hits it with a high spin rate. So say if you're getting 3000 RPM spin with the standard max head, then hopefully this driver will bring your spin rate down to 2300 to 2500, which will give you more distance. So last of all here, we've got the uh, SFT driver here. What you'll notice, the main difference is we've got a fixed weight in the heel of the club. So this is gonna be here to reduce that ball going to the right as far as it would do normally. 
They're saying with this club head you are now getting up to 25 yards further left with your uh, direction when you're hitting this. Okay, so what I'm going to do, I'm going to hit some shots um, and see, see what we're doing. So I'm going to hit a few shots with the G425 Max Driver first. Uh, you're going to have to bear with me though because I've not hit some balls for probably about four months and uh, I've got a dodgy back so <laughs> it's going to be a little bit slower probably than normal but hopefully we'll see the difference between the performance of the heads. I'm going to use the same shafts with each one so hopefully I'll remember to switch them over. Um, we've got obviously a few shafts to choose from with Ping. You've got their standard um, outer shaft, you've got their tour shaft, so the outer shaft is for higher trajectory, we've got the tour shaft which is designed for the lower spin, lower trajectory, and then you've got their two, um, you've got the Aldila Rogue, and you've got the Tensai from uh, Mitsubishi. Um, so what I'm going to do, I'm going to use the Tensai actually, I'm going to use that one um, in stiff flex, and then we'll try and compare them and see the difference between each one. Okay, so this is the uh, G25 Max. I've got it set at 9 degrees here, and we'll just hit maybe a handful of shots and see what it's like. Okay, so we're going to hit about 10 shots here. Let's see what we can see. Okay, so we're going A little bit high in spin for me, a little bit low in ball speed. Certainly I'm not swinging it well at the moment, but it feels relatively forgiving. That was a bad shot, I, I turned that over, but it hasn't gone that far off target. Slightly better stroke. A bit more carry. Anything close to 300 today will be a good shot for me. A little bit lower spin there, 2,500, 600. That was a clean strike. Felt a little bit off the bottom that. It's done alright. Okay, one more. That again. Not too bad. Right, what we'll do, we'll pop over this club. Okay, so I've got the LST now, standard loft, nine degrees in the same shaft. Get it in the right spot. Same shaft as uh, the match. That struck out the heel, that one. Pretty straight from his hip. Well, there's a little bit more spin rate probably than I'd normally get with this club head. Again, a similar-ish kind of strike, a little bit lower on the club face. 
Again, I did okay. A little bit high on the spin rate again. Let's see if I can get a good strike. Sees are only just creeping up to the 160 at best. The spin rate a lot lower there, 1600 on the spin. Quite a nice launch angle. certainly see that the spin rate is coming down, that's why it's giving me more distance. No other reason really than that. But my consistency is a little bit low at the moment. Swap over to the SFT. So actually, I've never really hit the SFT. Be nice to compare it. This is set at ten and a half degrees. So I'm going to actually I'm going to set the loft to uh, nine degrees on the driver through the adjustment. Okay, so we've got the SFT set to 9 degrees. As you can see, my bad shot's to the left anyway, really, so uh, we'll see if this makes it go even further to the left. Good shot, so uh, the other ones were definitely bad shots. Yep, that was a bad shot. You can see how far left that went. severely to the left now.
One more shot. I think it's quite obvious what it's doing. The spin rate's similar to the uh, the G4, uh, the, yeah, the 425 Max. Hit it good. Again, very far left. So the G425 Max is doing the job that it should be doing. It is moving that ball very far left in the air for, uh, for people who do struggle and keep the ball to the right -hand side of the golf course. This is the drive you may want to be looking at and trying out. Obviously you want to test it against other drivers, but this will do a job for that. So if we have a quick look at the analysis, we'll see on the table here, hopefully uh, you'll get the same screen as me. We've got the average for distance. So my average carry was better with the, the G425 LST. That's because my spin rates are usually quite high with the standard head. So I do need a lower spinning club head. So I was getting 263 yard carry with the standard driver max. 274 yard carry with the LST and 258 yard carry with the uh, with the SFT. So they're very similar carry distances between the Max and the SFT, which I'd expect because they're similar heads, just with the weight being moved to the heel. Uh, but the LST, which is giving me less spin and giving me uh, more distance. Yeah, the uh, the SFT is giving me less spin, but that is because it's closing the club face down quite a bit, so I'm getting uh, less carry because that ball's dropping out of the sky pretty quickly. I'm getting a lot of curvature. And then overall distance, yeah, I'm getting more distance with the uh, LST, which again, that's just because it's better suited for me. It doesn't mean it's going to be better suited for you. If you're spinning that ball way below one and a half thousand, you're going to need a, a higher spinning club, so you'd probably need more loft. So uh, it's always good to get fitted. That's the way that you'll uh, know what club suits you, but Ping brought out these three clubs to suit a lot of different players and you've got that adjustability again so you can add loft and take loft to help optimize those launch conditions your pro should know the optimum launch conditions you're looking for if you've got a machine like i do you can see those figures in front of your face looking at those uh those better uh, carry distances and better overall distances so i hope you've enjoyed watching this video today giving you something to do during the lockdown period i'm, I'm looking forward to uh, seeing you all on the golf course again sometime soon um, but yeah, we've got a little bit longer to wait. Hopefully everyone's keeping safe and I'll uh, see you later. Bye.